Oh, I'm just gonna fiddle a bit with my knob here. And uh, how does this look? Sound, I mean. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> the look on your face is a bit worrying. Yeah. <laughs> it really oh, looked uh, like you were doing something. Yeah, naughty sometimes down there. that helps twisting it a bit. <laughs> <laughs> That just raises a pitch for me, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever tickles your fancy. <laughs> so, two out of three on holiday. That's nice. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> for us, it is. <laughs> Well, I'm not to sure be... it's it's pissing down and <laughs> to be fair, you KJ's been swimming today with the kids. You've had the kids all day. I've been in the workshop all day because it's been raining, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's not been too bad. Yeah. It's not really a vacation. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I mean you're running a kindergarten, unpaid one, so yeah. So has it just been ice cream ice creams and sweets for you all day today, have all? Yeah. Um <laughs> I had a good morning actually because they uh, the oldest woke up at a reasonable time and none of them has woken up during the night and uh, she just came in and asked where the remote control is and I like uh, is over there um, then they just went to the living room and turned the television on and I didn't wake up until half past nine which is a couple of hours after them so it was really <laughs> nice and then I wonder what they've been up to. So I just went into the living room. And they were sitting there watching TV, and there was a lot of candy wrapper everywhere. I was like, <laughs> oh, we snuck around a bit in the basement. Sure you did. Sure you did. No. So that's why they've been meticulously keeping the noise levels down, so I wouldn't wake up. So they have been having a blast all morning. So yeah. <laughs> not quite, not quite got the hang of hiding the evidence yet, though. No, <laughs> which is good. I'm not going to teach them that. I'm going to figure that one out on their own. <laughs> um, me and Lily have to hide what we have from uh, from Michelle. So, uh, yeah, we've got used to <laughs> hiding the evidence and uh, we have code words. We're just going to the shop. What are you going to the shop for? Vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. So how was swimming today, KJ? It was good. The weather was uh, was decent, and the kids behaved, ish. Yeah, good enough. Yeah. <laughs> so it was. Yeah, it was good. It was good. They're actually uh, making progress. <laughs> How is it having two boys? Are they are they wild most of the time, or are they pretty no, sedate? They, they, then take it in turns. Uh, no, the the, <laughs> the youngest one is the wild one. The oldest one is more. Uh, not wild. He just likes to sit, sit, sit alone, uh, more or less. Do they take after a particular parent, each one? Yeah, I think the oldest one takes after me pretty much, and the youngest one, we don't know where he got it from. <laughs> right. <laughs> so a distant relative somewhere in the past. <laughs> yeah, one of those that skips the generation, perhaps. Or, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> All right, come on, let's kick it into gear. Welcome to number one crude mistakes. Was that good enough? Should we <laughs> do more? Uh, as far as I know, there. that's the name. Lost yes. it there for a second, yeah. <sighs> Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Hello! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Is this vacation mode? <laughs> yeah. Oh, very much so. It's, uh, it's You're bringing your low effort January back already. <laughs> yeah, can't <laughs> wait for January. But <laughs> <laughs> well, at this rate, you'll have to knock it up a gear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is that well, it is, <laughs> I mean, hats off to all single parents out there. Um, yeah. I've been alone with my kids now for two whole days. <laughs> and... <laughs> of course tomorrow as well and keeping them happy and occupied and then of course uh, getting some uh, me time after they fall asleep way too late because they know they can manipulate their dad relatively easily it's uh <laughs> yeah 
haven't slept as much the last couple of days that I uh, should have. So, um, yeah. It's a rough start. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> but now we have a podcast. That's nice. <laughs> you, so, you literally just said you didn't wake up till half past nine. Yes, uh, but... Uh, <laughs> she gets better half past seven. <laughs> <laughs> it was extremely late. It was doom scrolling on the phone and uh, watching someone make a banana knife and then questioning all my uh, YouTube skills. <laughs> that and, was uh, hilarious, that video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I've been watching more of them and the dance step and everything is like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. but the Duke is... He's his own special breed of yeah. YouTube person. <laughs> When you see something like that, it just makes you so jealous, doesn't it? It's like, wish I'd thought of that and just done that style. That would be great, wouldn't it, to be that original? Yeah. But then again, it just oh, you would just end up copying someone, and, and it would just feel off yeah. for oh, yeah, some yeah. reason. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then it's like it it pitches you into this uh, dark void of uh, existential crisis. That then I mean. Who am I? What am I doing? What is my thing? And then you're just yeah. grasping at straws. And uh, yeah, well, well, not going there. So you just got to go with my mantra and just try not to be the worst out there, even though it does not always feel like I'm winning at last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that that's a good mantra. That is. Like, yeah. yeah. Don't be the worst. Do your best. But, yeah. I think we're succeeding by that metric. Oh, yes, very much. I think so. <laughs> I mean, we're running a maker podcast. We might uh, even be making stuff. So how about you guys? KJ, made anything except uh, waves in the water? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have tidied my workshop. That's uh, uh, Yeah, it's a lot of tidying. Um, so... I'm sort of getting ready to actually do stuff. Uh, but I, I have done one thing, and that is to put uh, put uh, my bandsaw on casters. Uh, something I should have done from the from the get go, I think. So have I you got can actually it? slide it ra- around. Oh, is it a full size bandsaw yours? From the yeah, from full the... size. Yeah, it's a. It's not a. I mean, it, if it was a tad bit smaller, it would be be a bench top. So it's uh, just, okay. just the size over it. <laughs> and it's a cheap one, so it doesn't cut straight how much you try and fiddle with it. So it's it's pretty <laughs> rubbish, but it's nice to have. Yeah. So you is don't on, have to... Is it on casters just so you can push it down the hill and say goodbye then? <laughs> <laughs> well, if something would happen to it, I wouldn't cry a river. <laughs> well... Make sure you film that because yeah, that might be a good video. Like uh, death of bad tools, just push them down. Huh? Well, we live on a slope, so you just push it out of the workshop and a meter more, then it's just gonna go by itself down to the, the bigger road. So it just sort itself out, I think. <laughs> exactly. I keep getting this video of the. It's a Canadian. Uh, outdoor festival or something where they just chuck cars off yes. the ledge of a quarry and then people are just standing uh, downwind drinking beer and having fun and then just Ooh, there it goes <laughs> it's brilliant so if you could do that with uh, old useless tools <laughs> like the three of us <laughs> <laughs> yeah it will quickly <laughs> turn into that I think <laughs> So All I think right. you were, you were editing the other night, weren't you, KJ? Did you get very far with that? Uh, kind of uh, far, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm making progress on the uh, on the tufting rug video, but it is boring to try to make a uh, time lapse somewhat amusing. Yeah. And it's a, it's a, I mean, it's a broken time lapse because it's a time lapse of me tufting, which is, I mean, it's all fun and good when when the when I'm actually doing stuff but you lose the the thread quite often so then it's a pause i mean literally or figuratively (laughs) both 
Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but but mostly uh, f- uh, physically. Uh, so then it's in it's a pause in the time lapse for about three seconds or something like that where nothing happens, but I just uh, yeah reload the gun and then it were off again and then there's a pause and then perhaps I have to change <laughs> uh, yarns and that sort of thing. So it's it's just too much of a pause. Yeah, but that's. To, you should just lean into it, I think, because I've seen a lot of tufting videos and they are focusing and, and of course, everyone is time lapsing and they're time lapsing the while they're actually tufting. You can just time lapse every time your uh, string breaks and you have to replace <laughs> it. So your entire time lapse is basically this is what tufting real is. It's like <laughs> re-threading that fucking needle <laughs> five million times. <laughs> Go buy a rug. <laughs> yeah. No, the, 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 buy the the correct yarn. That's the thing because there really is a difference in the yarns. How well they, uh, how easily they slip out of the needle. Needle. Yeah. So, yeah. But I, but I try to make the the video a little more amusing. Ah, oh, I, I know what you did wrong. You went and got tufting yarn, didn't you? And that's the the pre-cut ones for the manual tufting where every bit is so long. (laughs) So no wonder you were (laughs) threading the needle every... (laughs) It's like that Brad Nail situation all over again, isn't it? (laughs) Yeah. Sounds like it, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I felt like it at times, but yeah. So when are you hoping to have that video out then? Uh, I'm not making any promises. Uh, hopefully before uh, next recording. But yeah, yeah, I felt that. I mean, there, there are enough videos posted in the last week, uh, so I don't need to pile on to that <laughs> because both of you published videos. Sure did. I did. <laughs> and I think. Uh, I mean, you got experimental there, Glenn. I mean, I I see a lot of videos in a lot of formats and. <laughs> so what what did you actually post and uh, in which order or did you go uh, no like <laughs> all i know is on friday i was looking at that uh that, the the wood shape that i made <laughs> and uh wasn't very happy with it and thought this is not going to make a video i spoke to you too and you went no and um, oh, actually, I, I messaged you two and asked you, and you were a bit slow to get back. And meanwhile, Shell walked in the room and said, do you think the uh, wood thing's uh, worth a video? She went, no, and just walked <laughs> off, literally just very really dismissive. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, oh, okay. So I had a I had a day to myself on Saturday, and I thought, well, I'll just go and have a play because, you know, the AI did the, the basic script. And I just thought I'd just have a play just for my own amusement and um, just see how it works out. And I did the thing with the silly voices. I mean, I had an absolute hoot editing for a couple of hours for a video that I wasn't planning on putting out. And I sent it to you two and I sent it to Michelle for a laugh. And uh, Michelle came back and said, I actually love that, but what's with the stupid voices? (laughs) (laughs) I was thinking that as well. What software did you use for that? (laughs) (laughs) That was CapCut. So it it does the, uh, does the, um, the script for you. And then it also um, does the um, transcript so it comes up on screen. And then there's also another function that does speech to text. And you press speech to text and it um, you can choose your voices. I mean, one of the voices I used was Santa. I mean, it's, it does a sentence and then does ho, ho, ho afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> because that's useful. <laughs> yeah, so I, I just had an absolute blast with it. And uh, when Shell said she loved it, then I thought, all right, I'll take the silly voices off, which wasn't wasn't too much of a thing. And then I looked, and there's not actually much of video content on there, apart from me filming myself talking. So I used some stock footage and threw that in there as well and made a, a one-minute, 40-second video. <laughs> 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 it did get me to think that, of course, you, you had the AI make the script, and, of course, you had to read that, and then... I've seen you get relatively cheap like teleprompters for your phone so you can actually just write a script and you can just slap it on your camera and you can actually read while looking into the camera <clears throat> and I have been playing with that thought because I'm a far better writer than I am just winging intros like uh, 
the last video I had out, I, I think I redid the intro like 20 times before. Okay, I, one of them should work. Um, but of course, I could le easily write the script and then I could just do one recording and be done with it. So it might be a time saver, but it would be just more equipment to rig up in a relatively cramped workshop. So, you know, get a teleprompter up and then you have to have your phone ready yeah. and charged. And of course, middle of the recording, someone is bound to send you a text and then it's like, <laughs> zzz, 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 and then like, God damn it. I have to redo it again. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, it's uh, it'd have to be a big old screen for me to be able to read it at a distance as well. <laughs> <laughs> without my glasses on so yeah that'd be a bit of a pain but the other interesting thing that uh, CapCut does is um, there's another function where you can drag your long video your long one minute 40 second video <laughs> and it will make shorts for you out of it hmm. and so I tried that out as well and it actually made seven different shorts variants of shorts out of that one video for me <laughs> were there any different to them were they any good well, the one that I put out as a short with, with my silly voices, that was one that the uh, computer put together for me. Okay. And were the, <laughs> were the other ones uh, equal or were they shit? Or... It, it actually put a 30-second one together, which was pretty comprehensive, actually. That was quite a good short, but it, was, it wasn't that much <laughs> shorter than the main video, so... <laughs> but no, it was, uh, it was nice to get some something out of that projects because I, I was down on the project i mean it didn't look quite right wasn't happy with it so it's nice to get something out of it even though it's not been watched <laughs> much but well, um, that's the that's the back side of doing youtube because sometimes you're like i don't know i should have a, a project out soon because it's too long since the last time and of course i now started rethinking my choices with regards to the table because <laughs> It turns out good, and I'm like, oh no, this could actually yeah. be a good video, and then I didn't film myself. So now I'm trying to figure, how can I make an intro that segues into having the table half built before you start <laughs> filming? <laughs> or how much so, can you fake of building it? <laughs> why don't you? Yeah. Why don't you just go down a, a similar format to what I did and just do a just talk to the camera and then just put still images of the table progress because you're taking stills, haven't you? Yeah, I can, can do that, that and, then, and I, I can get in my car and uh, drive to the hardware store screaming, pretending to uh, <laughs> get some hardwood, do some tap dancing at silly music, and then, uh, yeah, I could, uh, I could pull something off, I think. Yeah, but, I mean, you just have to have you some uh, video of you cutting that wood. It doesn't have to be the, in the shape that you're doing, and then it's <laughs> totally, you're totally different it. wood, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. Yeah. yeah. I just uh pretty break, sure I've break, done that before. Yeah. And break the fourth wall and like fuck continuity. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> How did badly it. can you do this? How fun can it make can you make it? <laughs> and it's a real drag if the if the video gets boring when you catch up to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really funny, good intro, and then you just finish off with a standard boring build video. <laughs> <laughs> it might work. Try it. Mm. <laughs> so you also got a video out, Ovar? Oh, yes, I sure did. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a one-day build uh, or a two-day video. I'm not sure uh, what <laughs> sounds the best, but yeah. I... Um, spend the majority of the day here the other day uh, cutting up a lot of square metal tubings for a welding table and then just looking at some of the off cuts and i was testing my saw on it and like all right i've cut some slits in this and i could just put a light bulb in it it would be a decent lamp maybe and then uh, i slept on it and then i just woke up and I have several projects, but they're kind of lengthy, and I would like to do something. And then, uh, all right, I'll make a lamp. So I think I uh, spent three hours in the workshop uh, in total that day and made a lamp. Nice. Turned out well as well. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. And then yeah. uh, 
of course I uploaded some uh, imagery and uh, pictures and then uh, I got a message from uh, one of the patrons that uh, oh that looks like one of the lamps or stones or whatever from the fifth element and I just had to google it and yep that's probably lingering <laughs> in my uh, subconsciousness so they probably have the design from that classic video nice so, uh, gave you a title didn't it <laughs> sure did and it gave me some inspiration for the thumbnail and uh it's actually been having more views every hour so it's doing decently compared to the last video it's just like tank at 100 views <laughs> it's kind of fun when you have a have the thumbnail uh, or the title it looks really thought through <laughs> Then in the video, you never mention a connection to the movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had to uh, had to put in a small text like or watch the movie. <laughs> I think it was great, but it, I mean, it looks it looks really good. It does. What, what, what do you mean like? tanking get a hundred views? By the way, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my my video this weekend didn't go that far. That's for sure. <laughs> I barely broke a hundred with my latest, so <laughs> it's been really tricky because I've been getting a couple of thousand on uh, some of the videos just lately, and then you do that one, and it's like, no, <laughs> you really do have to put more effort into a video <laughs> or a project. Yeah, yeah, but that's the thing. There's no correlation of like putting effort in. I mean, you, you nope. make uh, a small video and it does great, and then you can spend weeks on another and nobody even notices so it's, mm. it's but but think of it this way it's good to have a couple of videos underperforming because because then when you're when you actually get back to it those will be the ones comparing to in the the last 10 videos then we're comparing yeah. to one crap one and then you, <laughs> you will feel better sure. there's some logic sure. there <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> is this just something I tell myself to feel better? <laughs> no, you're, you're dead right, KJ. You stick with that. That's all good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what you're working on now? Uh, we've got those projects out of the way. You want, some you want something new, KJ? You said you cleaned up the workshop, but uh, last week you cleaned it up and then messed it up again, didn't you? Yes, yes. I so I I, <laughs> <laughs> I made myself not uh, not able to to. Yeah, it's uh, gonna be the welding table, I think. Yeah. Ooh. Um, because then I ha I get to to disassemble the uh, the old one uh, and get some more space. So that's <laughs> that's nice to have. You still have enough space for a dance floor in your in your workshop. Yeah, you need space so you can <laughs> clutter it up with stuff. <laughs> yeah, I need space to move and wave my wiggly arms. <laughs> oh, the energy! <laughs> Mr. Tickle. <laughs> Why do I feel like there's going to be some graphics about this until the next episode? Uh, but yeah, welding table. Um, what's the plan? Um, it's to use uh, some old... Uh, What's it called? Uh, stainless uh, kitchen shelves I found at the at the skip. Uh, probably from some, yeah, they're from some some kitchen of sorts. Um, so they it's they use they're supposed to have a, a particle board uh, insert or a, something like that. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just gonna. Take two of them and and put them on uh, some particle board I had left over, and that would give me a uh, roughly one meter times fifty centimeter, so pretty small, but flat and and non flammable uh, work area. Because having used particle board just straight up as a welding <laughs> surface, that is not really a good idea. Uh, <laughs> 
because it uh, burns quite easily. <laughs> will, will the hot stuff still not fall on the particle board? I think it's it's not the hot stuff more than the actual burning flame that's been the problem. Oh, okay. Uh, from my from my experience uh, doing it, uh, so I think it will be fine. Um, just make sure you don't have something just. Uh cindering away on the backside there without noticing and then uh... yeah yeah <laughs> i don't think it's going to be a problem but yeah so that's and that's the plan I've, d I've done the same and of course i realized i need to have a, a steel welding table and i'm going with the square metal tubes obviously and i realized i need a, a flat surface to start for welding that table um so of course I had to get a table. <laughs> so <laughs> someone gave away a industrial uh, like office table, which is really heavy and sturdy, uh, but also flat. So I'm going to use that as a sacrificial board to just uh, bolt and screw the metal parts onto it, uh, so they don't twist too much while I just tack them together before I can start putting the welds down. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. So it's a it's a welding table table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, that's going to really pay off. Uh, you making sure that it actually is flat from the beginning. If you if you do that, just willy nilly, then it's going to haunt you for the rest of your using it. <laughs> yeah, and I actually bought uh, the tubing, so I didn't find them at the skip. So it's it. I mean. They were cheap, but spending money on it and not doing a proper job from the get-go is like, yeah, I need to make sure it's square. And then I'm very happy because I saved the two wheels that I took off the conference stand uh, when I made the, the food truck. And those are heavy. I think they're like 15 kilos a pop. Um, like casted metal wheels with rubber uh, tires on no air no nothing um and they've been sitting around in my workshop and i've been stumping my toe on them every day <laughs> and now i realized ooh, i can just use these on the welding table so i have uh so it will be like a trolley where i can nice. have two wheels and i can just drive it as a wheelbarrow and then i thought the i made the top plate in a dimension of almost 500 times 1200 uh, so it's uh it fits up against my wall in my workshop and i can also take the top plate and just put it on my trailer because that's roughly 115 wide so i could just put the table on there because it's a nice working surface <clears throat> and um uh, so yeah i think i'm gonna make the um, the top part of the table detachable and then i'm gonna have some wheels and some almost like wheelbarrow handles. Are you filming this table? Table mix? Yeah, yeah. Th episode, this yeah. I'm filming. So uh, <laughs> I also started editing. So I, it's going to take so much time that I'm doing mid build editing. So I've already made the like the oh, what's it called? The short uh, time lapse of the cutting everything because that's basically what i've done i just cut all the parts and uh, chamfered the edges and so on so it's like oh my and it's a lot of cuts but now they are equal length and equal angled so it should just be to uh, clamp them onto a table and start welding but i need a day where it's not pissing down yeah that makes it easier yes yeah what's what sort of length video we're aiming are we aiming for this time no, it's a, it's a it's a feature film, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's, it might not be the Titanic, uh, but yeah, two three hours at least. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm not Just... sure. I mean, I can it if I make a long video, an hour plus, and then of course I take. There is always an intro and then there's a presentation at the end of the product. That's a, that's a, the simplest form of a build video. And then I just put some music in, in the middle, a three minute clip. 
and then you just start slicing all the build montage into small bits and just removing them until the building part match up with the length of that music and that doesn't take more than an hour to do so yeah making a short video out of a long one is really easy so with the like the KitchenAid build I made a long one and didn't take me very long to make the short one and then we have two videos you can put out yeah one that people watch and one that only two people care about but but I bet it gets more watch time hours, doesn't it? <clears throat> First two people. Watch I have it all not the way compared through. that. I'm going to compare that later. That, that's yeah. interesting mm. to see. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> What's the sweet spot in actual length of views? <laughs> you know, I was kind of hoping I was going to tap into some of that long format that the Mr. Fingers were talking about, but I haven't seen the, a lot of numbers on that video, so uh, I might have missed. Uh, Missed a few clues. <laughs> yeah. That's both pretty sailed. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been uh, busy today and making progress on my new project. So yeah, that's uh, and you dodged a bullet there. You did almost not fill your car with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really did. It was obviously a, it was obviously out of date that uh, fire extinguisher anyway because it was literally just a, a, a well. But hardly any powder came out of it in comparison to what did come out of it when I actually emptied it. <laughs> I mean, I put a short out today of me emptying it, and that was that wasn't even half what I showed, and that was in real time as well. It wasn't even speed sped <laughs> up or anything. <laughs> it's fascinating powder. It's the finest stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really fascinating to watch it come out. <laughs> yeah, it looked like corn flour or something like that. Some... I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But I'm I'm guessing it's not because that is highly flammable at uh... yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like like I say, I've bagged it up so I can bring it with me to uh, Oslo to show you in October. Yeah, yeah. Just use a lot of cling wrap and some duct tape. Uh, and yeah, yeah. Do, a neat square. Yeah. I, yeah, I wouldn't want it spilling. No, no. So make a Jenga <laughs> brick size then. Just <laughs> yeah. bring it. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure to have it in your hand luggage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only bringing hand luggage, so yeah, it's yeah. not an option. <laughs> You I'll... should ask someone else. That me, could you carry this for me, please? <laughs> <laughs> you go two routes that way, then couldn't you? If it's brick shaped, you could just strap an alarm clock to the outside as well. <laughs> that could also work. Yes. <laughs> you could just, just give, you could just, just say you didn't want to come. <laughs> like, Sorry, guys, I'm arrested. <laughs> And put on 14 lists. <laughs> Can you imagine the video though if I actually made it with that package? <laughs> oh. The but I mean, oh, that would. It is a tricky though because once they know you, they know you, but that would have been an interesting series of videos. Like, trying to smuggle things across the border yeah and it, it's a bit like uh, there was this science experiment where uh, some doctors they put um a totally sane individual in a mental asylum and to see how long they figured out before there's nothing wrong with this person and of course they never did so they had to just <laughs> Pull, pull him out of there and uh, then they had to reevaluate some of their procedures but you should probably do that here as well you should talk to the customs and all right i would like to make a video and then getting them on board and then just trying all the stuffs that you've just fantasizing about but what if i hide it in and just get to make stuff and then just uh, <laughs> drive over the border okay this worked but I, I guess they're not willing to <laughs> let no, you show that no. so yeah it's a hard sell i thought of that uh, when going to make your central that it would be really fun to just have a couple of makers fly to a place and whatever they can bring on the plane then you sit in the hotel room and try to make the worst i mean the deadliest instrument if you want to take over a plane or something like that <laughs> what could you get through customs and actually make something bad with if it, it, it's a bomb it's a knife whatever you just have to make whatever you have in your suitcase you get on the plane 
that's the only material you you got what can you make of it yeah that's also <laughs> a video that probably get flagged pretty quickly <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but it would be really interesting to see what you what you could do so that's what we'll do for maker central next year then yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> just, just a smuggler theme <laughs> I'm figuring my end will be pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just pull up in your van with a, yeah. a bomb. chainsaw and then you're <laughs> done. Yeah. <laughs> chainsaw and a hockey mask. <laughs> well, now you're making it interesting. <laughs> and you have to see who is the best one this time. A fight with death. I see. <laughs> Yeah, I could take the four meter long uh, pruning saw. That's probably even more deadly. A reach is really good in a fight. So yeah, yeah, but yeah. if you, if you, you know. if you manage to get <laughs> closer than that reach, it's useless. <laughs> That's true. That's, yeah, he needs something in the other hand as well. Yeah. Although the exhaust gets really hot on it as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if they get too close, you burn them. <laughs> But that being said, in my workshop now, uh, by the entrance, I, I have the extension for that uh, trimmer engine that I used for the KitchenAid uh, with the uh, the chainsaw accessories on it. And it's like, I'm never going to throw that away. And it, it's lying there and it just, it screams a project. Oh, and... you know what you should do? Take the motor that was on the KitchenAid and see if you can power the trimmer with it. <laughs> <laughs> so you do a switcheroo yeah. Yeah. Uh, and no I need to get a new kitchen aid. <laughs> <laughs> part of the motor is uh, the axle that I left in to power it oh uh, yeah the drive shaft is the motor yeah. yeah and of course I did think about mounting it on the front of the kitchen aid as an accessory but that that drive shaft on the front is really low geared so that's going to be the slowest chainsaw in history. So no, that don't work. But a pruning chainsaw, it's, I mean, it's a miniature chainsaw, more or less. Yeah. So that would fit really well with that, that kid uh, ATV thing you, you got. To make that a more Mad Maxian. I mean, that's the proper size for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm normally on board with what you two say, these some, some of these ideas. But I think a chainsaw on a... On a quad bike, it's not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's an epic thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. but that that being said, I've I've been looking around for parts because I have um, I have a project coming up for that ATV, so it it won't survive its final form uh, through the winter. That's for sure. So it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a grind hard plumbing or a grind plum harding video. No, it, so. <laughs> Have we got a couple of years of the kids using it before you do this, or is this happening this winter? No, it's happening this winter. Um, oh, awesome. <laughs> and of course, they, they, they love writing it, but they... Well, the, the oldest hasn't got enough practice in. She could probably... Uh, during this summer, write it by herself. But uh, I mean, I they are so cheap, and I got this one dirt cheap, and so yeah, I have no problem sacrificing it and then buying a a new used one next summer if they are really <laughs> crying about it. But I mean, they they can drive the creation that's gonna emerge from the ashes after I uh, <laughs> burn all the plastic off it. <laughs> I'm guessing this is a secret for now. Yeah. Yeah. Keep yeah, it a secret. It's a secret because someone is going to steal that idea. <laughs> but another thing, I've um, I got some paraphernalia this week for uh, my uh, next video and <laughs> um, of course I I I worked in the kitchen when I was in the army and uh, I did not remember how large size these uh, chef's clothing were. So I just <laughs> I measured and I ordered a chef's jacket uh, on sale and then uh, it came and it's like two sizes too large for me. So I had to return it and order a new one, which means I have to wait another week to get a proper one to make the, 
the follow-up KitchenAid video. Mm. <laughs> I wonder why we haven't seen any more of that. Yeah, because I'm waiting for those clothes because I'm also going to use them when I film the uh, trying to cook an egg on the eating table. Ah, yeah. And of course, uh, I've got a lot of things in the mail this week um, because after I got cancelled that tool order uh, a couple of weeks ago, I just, all right, I'll spend those money on AliExpress and now the packages are starting to come in. And of course, uh, I ordered, amongst a lot of things, a, a t-shirt, which was crap. I'm not going to take it out of the wrapping because I'm going to give it away. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I ordered a, a, a cap, which were way too small. Uh, so the kids are now playing with that. So I got some fun of it. Which, and then uh, I got a knife, a, a marking knife, which I managed to cut myself on, <laughs> like <laughs> on the wrist. So... Uh, I was uh, delivering the kids. Uh, no, I was picking the kids up uh, after they had a sleepover, and uh, like I uh, <laughs> bandaged my wrist. And like, what happened? I, I cut myself. <laughs> <laughs> the, and, are, you, uh, are you sure everything's all right over there? Oh yeah, yeah. Blind. Sure? Yeah. <laughs> and then I got some uh, woodworking clamps, uh, which I actually uh, I've been wanting them for a long time. It's. Um, it's two bench dogs, and then there are two bench dogs with clamps on them where you use a ratchet to just to tighten them. So you just put them down wherever you want on the table. Yeah. Have you got um, one of those holy tables? No, but I have uh, Forstner bits. So, oh, fair uh, enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I always wanted them, and I've had them in my shopping cart for uh, at least a year. And then I saw them. In the Mungus's Liden's uh, shop, he actually had a pair. And I mean, they look decent quality. So I just purchased and they arrived today and they are brilliant. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to you start uh, drilling in my uh, workshop table and start using them. <laughs> are you going to do it? To... over here. <laughs> <laughs> just about to say, you're just going to put them in as you need them, <laughs> where yeah. you need them. <laughs> that, that's the thing, though. The, the the tabletop on my workbench is a sacrificial one. It it is bolted, and and I just plug the bolt holes so I can actually just take it off. And it's it's so good to have a table you're not afraid of using. So I should clamp yeah. this. I don't have a clamp, all right, but I have a long wood screw right down in the table, <laughs> and you can spill everything on it, and it uh, looks like it spin through war uh but i mean if it's get too bad i can just change it out but uh yeah it's an art piece by yeah, the way. yeah yeah at some point i'm gonna sell it as uh art and uh <laughs> yeah laura camp's tables look like art don't they yeah, yeah. But that's the thing I, I of course i, I want to do like um uh, <laughs> adam savage and put uh, leather on top of it but i don't feel that is the proper use for leather in my case <laughs> Um, but what I heard was, and of course, I don't have enough revenue in a company to this to make sense, but that's what a lot of millionaires do. They, they go to a maker, hello, here I am, um, and they commission a piece <laughs> and, and they pay $20,000 for uh, something that is defined as art. And then they go to a separate company and get it appraised for a million, right? And then they donate that to some charity or they auction it off or something. And then it's a tax write-off for that amount that it has been appraised for. But they just paid 20000 for it. But some uh, <laughs> art dude said that this is worth millions and they can just write that off. So uh, huh. maybe that's what I'm going to... I'm into tax fraud now. So if anyone wants yeah. to make something for tax purposes, I'm your guy. <laughs> That's all right. I was stealing money from uh, the Tappet table last week. So yeah. <laughs> just, between us, we should be millionaires soon. Come on, KJ, what you got? <laughs> well, apparently, I'm, I'm only thinking about smuggling weapons with the USA, so. <laughs> I guess no, we'll turn uh... a shade of... Darker than the usual. <laughs> but don't, don't don't put yourself down. I mean, uh, smuggling has been a lucrative business for many years, so that's a proven concept. So uh, wanting to go down that route, that's uh, 
<laughs> All giddy up from here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talking about um, illegal activities, uh, I'm I'm a bit sad that uh, Udio, my AI music friend, has been sued by the music industry, so now the website is down. Oh no! So they're in they're in court at the moment. <laughs> So no, no more AI music for you, or did you make a shitload of it and banked it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I realized I should have. No, but I, I tried out uh, their competitor, Suno, I think it's called, uh, which is still in operations. But I think they're sued as well. So should probably get on there and do some work. But that wasn't as good as uh, Yurio was. So, yeah. But it's, why are they sued? Is it because of the music or the technology that they're using? So is it that a... they? I think it's that they used uh, every music in existence to train the AI without permission. Yeah, uh, yeah so. that I can see that's a bummer. Yeah, so that's a. But I mean, that's a, it's a weird one. Robots can't listen to music, or they can't listen and learn from it. <laughs> it's a. It's uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I understand both sides of it, and I think. Yeah, and I, I saw right. this. Of course, I, I've I've been trying to <laughs> get around the copyright issue myself with making a uh, like a, a play video for the Hell Quarter, and then once you're covering any music, then it's of course a chance of uh, getting a copyright strike and. Then I got to listen to that uh, classic, um, the Axis of Awesome, the the four chord song. Yeah. And there's there's a lot of songs out there where people like they are playing all the music in the world just using four chords. And then I was reading in the comment section for one of the videos, and people were like arguing back and forth, and then just one guy stated the obvious: there is, there is not millions of chord progressions in music there are relatively few that you can put into order that sounds nice because that's the maths of music there are some harmonies that works the rest don't and of course when you're making music that's not sound terrible then you have to use some of them in slight variation of course and then you have different lyrics and compositions of instruments and so on but there isn't an infinite number so I'm thinking also the AI, I mean, if it, it doesn't need a billion of tunes to listen and have the capability of listening because it is basically maths. So if you give it some restrictions, those chords do not go together and then you have the beats and uh, the sectioning of them and so on. It's, it, it shouldn't need that vast material to actually put out some decent beats. Well. That's my theory, but I'm no expert, so. <laughs> yeah, it sounds reasonable. Since you brought up the Halcorder, you've been very, very quiet on that front just lately. Are you a bit down on that project at the moment? Yes and no. Um, I am at that stage where I, I, I should play it more, but I, I want it to be a good video as a like a like a milestone all right it, it's here and now we play the tune and then i can start because i have now i've got a, a volume pedal in parts so i can build and i need to fit lights and so on so there is a few bits and bobs i can do but i mean i would like to do some music and i'm thinking about it every now and then but i haven't really cracked the code yet so i'm just uh making lamps and tables while I'm waiting for the, <laughs> the, the, the great epiphany. That's fair enough. Yeah, yeah it's good to... Go on, Karen, KJ. It's good to keep yourself distracted by being productive in other areas instead. Yeah, that's the best way of getting a good idea, actually, is to uh, occupy your head uh, doing other things. Yeah. And there we have it, the first awkward silence of the evening. That's 10 minutes after normal time now. That's yeah. Good. yeah, that's almost a full episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're improving. Yeah. It could be a full episode if you want. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm doing the edit, so... <laughs> you keep forgetting that. Yeah. So I've got a little update. Ooh. My 
procurement manager has secured me a lathe. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> the only downside is it's an hour away and the guy is working shifts. So it's just as and when oh. the, the stars align and uh, we're both off at the same time to collect it. But you, you seldom work because it's raining all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and an hour isn't that much. No, no, it's not. Yeah, but that's the thing. He works as a rain collector, so they never match <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a duck. <laughs> yeah. This is fucking brilliant. This is best summer ever. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta feel sorry for those desert ducks. <laughs> Don't need my lathe. I'm just gonna swim around here. <laughs> a duck turning. That's a great image. Uh, I just see it using its beak to scoop yeah. out a bowl or something like that. Yeah. Is now a good time for you to tell us about your head scan, of all? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that came across that lately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been uh, having my head scanned because... Again? That's interesting. Yeah, again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is just a follow-up, basically, and now I have to wait a week for the results. Um of course, it's. I thought it wasn't that long ago, but it's almost half a year uh, since I was in. I'm just checking my um, neck and shoulders if I had a, a nerve in pinch, and then they found the uh, something that looked like a cyst on my brain, and uh, uh, nothing to worry about. They said because that is, uh, I mean, small cyst here and there is normal more normal in men between one to five percent of the population or something like that uh, not very high numbers of course um but uh, enough for them to uh, wanting to just uh, double check that it's not uh, <laughs> moving or growing or anything so it's nice getting the follow-up but uh, yeah. yeah so We're just waiting for the results just waiting for the results and uh of course, uh, depending on the results, then the question is, uh, so is there any uh, thing I can pin on it? Does it does it explain anything? And most likely, no. This is just you. It's, uh, it's got nothing yeah. to do. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. So that's not pressing on the depression, anxiety, introvert part of No. No, that's all you. No, that's all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is, is that it for your medical issues? Because I'm, because I'm sure a couple of days ago you messaged us and says and told us that you wanted to. Sorry, let me start this again. A couple of <laughs> days ago you messaged us and said that you wanted to tell us about your body. Yeah, I've discovered. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to know. <laughs> I'm not sure either. So. I think we're going to call that an episode. Then for anyone who can stomach uh, some bodily imagery, they might head over to the half point. So um, <laughs> I think with that, we call it an episode and uh, see you guys later. Weirdest teaser ever. <laughs> <laughs> Works for Bye. Me. Bye. Bye. <laughs>